Tuesday, Wednesday, probably not as windy, right, Michelle? Yeah, no, not nearly as windy, Patrick. It will be a little breezy this afternoon, but I think you're going to find it to be more comfortable being outside once we get through that bit of chill that's been in the air this morning. Plenty of sunshine there at Gansett right now, and we've got bright sunshine. Echo Lake, too, is a nice sunrise under those clear skies. Threat trackers low for today, but Thursday, Friday, we're going to up to the medium threat level. We're tracking a wind advisory for Thursday southwest winds. Uh, 40 to 50 miles per hour. It's another one of those days where I don't expect any widespread wind damage, but you certainly could see a few branches or limbs come down and maybe leading to some isolated power outages. Friday's threat tracker, medium threat level because of the wet weather. Periods of rain, they may be heavy at times, breezy winds as well, but we stay on the mild side of things Friday. That changes over the weekend. Here's the wind advisory details over Rhode Island, southeastern Massachusetts until 8 o'clock on Thursday. Again, that's for tomorrow. Today, light winds, dry skies over Rhode Island and southeastern Mass. Smithfield's on the way up. We fell to the upper 20s overnight. You're now in the upper 30s. Those temperatures steadily climbing in Providence as well. The Rick campus over the last half hour climbing another two degrees. Warwick at 36 and we are in the middle 30s westerly and upper 30s in Newport right now this afternoon. So a nice comfortable day for us. You're going to find that the coolest spots are along the coast and the reason why a southwest wind bringing in that cooler ocean air. So you're held in the 40s in Narragansett, Charlestown and westerly 50s as you travel even just a few miles inland and mid to perhaps a few up upper 50s in Kent and Providence County. So 59, Johnston 54, East Providence, Seekonk at 54, mid 50s, Attleboro and Taunton, not behind that Fall River temperature, thinking we'll be in the 50s there. 51 in New Bedford. High pressure slides east today. Winds turn to the southwest. That's a warm wind direction for us, and it'll do the trick here with uh, bringing our temperatures up. So this evening we fall briefly to around 40 degrees, but by tomorrow morning already on the way up into the 50s. This is 10 a.m. tomorrow. You'll be into the upper 50s already and a few hours into the 60s. Uh, tomorrow before those temperatures in the evening fall back into the 50s. So warm up is headed our way, but it comes with those very gusty winds and also wanted to show you the threat of the rainfall increasing clouds through the day Thursday by the evening hour. Some spotty drizzle mist and light showers. They'll turn more widespread. This is Friday morning at 2 a.m. So heading into work and school Friday and you're talking about uh, some downpours on the way you can see all of this activity lifting up to the north and east through the day on Friday and Saturday. We're going to have to check back in for an update on the future cast on Saturday. Starting to see a trend here from some of our more reliable computer models slowing down the offshore movement of our front for Saturday. So if that front does hug the coastline Saturday, the showers may linger during the daytime Saturday. It'd be rain showers, but could be cold enough to allow for some snow showers on Saturday night. Sunday looks windy and winter like highs only in the lower 40s. We could be talking about some wintry precipitation Monday night into Tuesday. So a chilly start the April 